She Most never received an abortion. Or my real name. It's Norma McCourty. I'm also known as Jane Roe, the plaintiff in the Supreme Court case, Roe v. Wade, which legalized abortion in America and changed our nation in an unprecedented way. Back in 1973, I was a very confused 21-year-old with one child and facing an unplanned pregnancy. At the time, I fought to obtain a legal abortion, but the truth be told, I have three daughters and have never had an abortion. However, upon knowing God, I realized that my case, which legalized abortion on demand, was the biggest mistake of my life. You see, abortion has eliminated 50 million innocent babies in the U.S. alone since 1973. Abortion scars an untold number of post-abortive mothers, fathers, and families, too. You read about me in history books, but now I'm dedicated to spreading the truth about preserving the dignity of all human life, from natural conception to natural death. Jane Rowe's story was a terrible one. Mm. She said she had been gang raped, gotten pregnant, was desperate to get an abortion. That's what everyone believed, as long as Jane Rowe remained anonymous. When she went public, she told a different story. You were raped while you were in Georgia? No, I wasn't. You were not? No, I wasn't. Oh, so all those stories that are in the books and so forth, are not true? Yes, sir. Yes. They're not true. Right. And it turned out that lying wasn't the only embarrassment this darling of the pro-choice forces presented. In her personal treatise published last year, Norma McCorvey told the story of her somewhat sordid life. Then, she still adamantly supported abortion. Now, she adds that to the list of sins she took with her into the baptismal pool. I've cheated people out of money. I've sold drugs. I, you know, I, I, was, I, was, a, I was an abusive alcoholic for, you know, many, many years. Um, I've done a lot against his teachings. Um, but I, I think the far greater sin that I did was to be the plaintiff in Roe versus Wade. Wow.